Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Today I will be reviewing a pair of pens I got. Here is the Hamkers Berserker Menta Cargo Pens. So I got this pair of pens from an Instagram page named Rebel X Archive. Thank you so much for working things out and selling them to me. So this is actually the first Hamkers piece I own. I do not have much experience with their pieces. I must say I'm very impressed with the quality and construction of the pens. I'll show it to you in a bit. But before that, a brief background on the brand itself. Hamkers was founded in 2015 according to sources like Tech Radar. From my understanding, they started manufacturing clothes in Guangzhou and subsequently based in Hong Kong. The designer Taf Leong is a visionary man. I really mess with his style and his design. He incorporates sci-fi video game elements into his clothing and he aims to create clothing for a dystopian future. He managed to make a very distinct look for each of his collections with his own universe but at the same time managing to uphold the brand's DNA. In my opinion that's very hard to do and he does it very well. From an interview, I saw that he was greatly inspired by Arison Hugh, the designer of Acronym. That kind of explains the very tech and nomad aesthetic he has. As usual, my purpose of filming this video is to show you close-up shots of the pens to help you out with the sizing and show you how I would style them. Here's a quick overview of the pens. You have a slight drop crotch and the length is slightly shorter. Moving on to the details of the pens. The pens came with this piece of metal tag. Starting with the material of the pants, it is made from 100% cotton. It is slightly on the heavy side. The pair of pants is a wash grey colour, but in certain lightings you can see hints of olive in there. The entire piece is object dyed, so you can see the unevenness in colour, especially at the corners and edges of the pants. At the waist area, you have this curved waistline. There is a velcro fastener at the waist, with the metal clip fastener on the inside. The fly is made from a US military Conma zipper. Back to the front, you have these two drawstrings which help fasten the waist. They are fairly far apart and they have this darker grey colour. Moving on to the coolest feature of the pens which are these two pocket flaps here. Hamkers calls it the Menta wing panel because it is inspired by a Menta ray. So it opens up forming this shape. The wing panel is attached together by a fitlock magnetic snap. Here is the other end of the piece. So when the two pieces are brought close together, it automatically snaps into place. And it is a very well thought after design because in order to detach it, you have to slide it diagonally out from the holder. On the front of the pocket panels, you have this very heavy duty pull tabs. And on the other side, there is this metal branding on it. Beneath the pull tab, there's actually a very sturdy velcro which exposes a hidden pocket. Back to the interior of the pens, when both pockets have been opened up, you have this very hidden side pockets on both sides. The pockets run fairly deep and there is a generous amount of space. So after the panel has been opened, there is a secret pocket at the side. This pocket can only be accessed after the panel is opened up. It has a lot of space in there. There is a pull tab which runs in between the pocket with a button clasp. So when you snap it together, it kind of prevents the pocket from opening up. This feature is exactly the same on the other side as well. Moving on to the main area of the pants, you have three seams going down the drop crotch portion. It is fairly wide at the thigh area and it tapers quite aggressively down at the calf portion. So here is the fit of the calf area when the zipper is zipped up. If you want a tight fit around the ankle and you want a slightly more roomy calf or just more fabric to stack, you can unzip the zipper halfway for the effect. Here is how the calf portion looks like with the zippers unzipped fully. It is branded with the same Konma military zippers. And you have this very small pull tab at the bottom, held together by a metal button snap. Moving on to the back portion of the pants. At the waist, the same thing, you have this very curved design and it's more aggressive at the back. You also have this paneling here. In the middle, you have this metal ring design. The back pockets are very interestingly shaped. They kind of resemble a Gundam wing, in my opinion. At the corner of the pocket, you have this same metal ring design. So besides the main portion, which is held together by a zipper, on the surface of the back pocket, there is a compartment held together by a Velcro. And this pocket is found on the other side as well with the exact same feature. Opening up the back pocket, it is held together by the Conma zipper as well. 
It reveals a huge pocket without any internal compartments. I've tried and you can even fit an iPad mini in there. It has the exact same feature on the other side of the pocket. Going down to the bottom of the pants, there is an elastic cuff only at the back portion of the pants. I'm not a big fan of how elastic cuff looks on pants in general, but it definitely makes putting on and taking off the pair of pants easier. Now moving on to sizing, here is how the pair of pants fit on me. I'm 1.82 meters, around 68 kilograms. I'm wearing it high-waisted. The pair of pants cuts off slightly above my ankles. It has a subtle drop crotch, but it is not uncomfortable and it does not restrict your range of motion. At the bottom area, the zippers could be zipped up, tightening the calf portion, giving a more tapered fit. To balance the weight distribution, I would prefer to wear it with higher cut shoes or boots. If you choose to wear it with low cut sneakers, it will give off a more tech wear look. So to sum up my thoughts on these pair of pants, first of all, I love the colorway of it. I feel that it changes color according to lighting. So on camera, it looks a bit more like a grayish color, but in real life, it has more of an olive hue. And I love the object dye effect. Around the trimmings, you can see a hint of white and it just looks very raw and rugged. Next, I love the design, construction, and quality of the pants overall. I feel that the design is really well thought out. The fact that there are 10 pockets on a single pair of pants with it looking very minimal from afar. Just really blows my mind on how well thought the design is. And the quality and construction, it feels very high quality. The cotton feels very nice and durable and very substantial when you're wearing it. The hardware is just amazing. The magnetic locks give a very premium feel and the Velcros are very nice and sturdy. Honestly, I'm very impressed by the quality in terms of the price range it retails for. And next, I love the fit of the pants. Compared to the rest of my cargo pants, which are longer in length, sometimes it's a bit difficult to tuck them into boots. For these pair of pants, they are shorter in length, so they stack very nicely above boots and they are very easy to put on. Overall, I'm really happy with the pickup. I know that Hamkers has been slowly gaining popularity over the years, but I feel that they are still very underrated in terms of the pieces that they put out. I'm definitely looking forward to get more pieces from them. I hope this video has given you the information you need on these pair of Hamkers Berserker Menta Cargo Pants. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.